welcome to VW Life. And in true VW fashion, we're gonna start this episode off with a broke down Volkswagen. This weekend, we're heading to Kerrville, Texas to go camping. It's about the middle of summer in Texas, so we're gonna look for a little water to play in and we're gonna bring you with us. But first, we gotta fix this Volkswagen. Oh, the expansion. Out of the it, it probably chain? either needs burped <laughs> or... Yeah. Okay, just let it do that for a bit. That's air, all right. Isn't yep, it? yep. It's a lot better. All right, we think there's air in the system, so we're gonna burp it. Yeah. Blue juice, also known as a cat killer. I don't even know what this stuff is. Yeah, what is this? I don't know. It tastes good though. It's really sweet. Already close to boiling, right, Well, uh, I think we did it. Oh, yeah. Well, fingers crossed. It looks like uh, we burped it. It yeah. had air in it, and so what happened? I'm assuming. That it, it wasn't kicking on the fan and it got hot. Well, everything was going smooth until my clutch cable broke. So uh, we're gonna throw a new one on there. Keep one in your spares. All right, did you already get it snapped in the back? Yeah. Oh God, it was bad, huh? Well, here comes the old clutch cable. VW Life. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, nice. look at that. So we're gonna grease it and stick it in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand it to you and I'm gonna be greasing it as, oh, here as you go. Hold on, hold on, you jumped the gun on me. Oh, okay. I'll spread. Here, just put on my fingers. Okay, oh. Hey, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, hit oh, that subscribe oops. button. Did you get that on tape? <laughs> okay, well, it's hitting something. Oh, it's hitting the Bowden tube. Really? Nice. So, when you're putting in a, you, you can see, it's the Bowden tube, you're trying to put the whole threaded piece in, and the Bowden tube's bent, you'll never get it off, so it's easier just to pull the Bowden tube, and put your clutch cable all the way to the very end, and then reinsert the Bowden tube into the transmission end. Okay, push. Push it. Okay, you're good. Push, awesome. it real push it real good. Oh, oh, push it real good. I gotta pull the transmission and I gotta screw this on at the same time. So it's kind of a kind of a hard thing to do. Alright, right now I'm tightening this. I have a six shooter from air cooled. It makes it a little easier to spin. So I'll sh I'll show a picture of that now and I'm spinning it and spinning it and spinning it. That six shooter works good. Sweat is dripping into your eyes. Oh, guys, isn't that river going to be so nice later? It's going to be so nice. Smoke it. Yeah, you do. Uh, uh, Jesus, your Cabo Bob shirt's filthy. Let's see what we got, clutch wise. Seems to be working. I think we're good. Well, good morning, Gary. Good morning there, Matt Jackson. Well, the sun has risen over our campers. Oh, look at that, it's a beautiful morning here on the Guadalupe. We rolled in a little late. <laughs> I was eating peanut butter and jelly at 10.30, but here we are. Here we are, we're, we're firing up the kayaks and we've got the canoe ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, I think there, I heard there's like some class five rapids, so this could be the end of us. I forgot to bring our fishing poles. Yeah, I was thinking of that. Huh. Join us today as we just have a chilled out, relaxing day. Yeah, this is this is this is not the norm. This is gonna be hard for me today because <laughs> we're staying in one spot. You're probably gonna watch me go schizo. This is it. This is the Guadalupe River. This is the Guadalupe. The Guadalupe. The old Guadalupe, Matt Jackson. It's looking mighty fine. Oh, look at that. And all its glory. Oh, that does look good. Oh. And a little... 
We might have a small problem. <laughs> well, tiny. There may be a small problem with the Guadalupe. We have leeches. Yeah, here's one. Look at he Look, is he buried? Yeah. Oh my God. I washed mine off the soap. So we'll have to figure out the leech situation. <laughs> It was so perfect. Everything was going so it well. Was, it was like we had found paradise. Instead, we were at... Remember that scene in Stand By Me? Luckily, these are much smaller. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I got it. They pose no danger to humans or plants. So I think we're okay. We think it's a, a harmless worm, so we're going to continue swimming. <laughs> Let the activities continue. Yay. We're safe, we're safe again. All right, so we got into the water right here, and then I looked under this ledge, and we've got some kind of snake. And it looks pretty dang big. So leeches, snakes, everything's trying to kill us. If you know what kind of snake that is, let us know in the comments. Check this out. Oh, salmon. Salmon and rice. Salmon and pork chops. There's your VW life right there, Matt Jackson. Look at that. Pork chops, thin to win, hominy, oh. Our adventurers have gone down the inlet over back. some rocks and now they're going down the main Guadalupe River. Headed for adventure, boys! This is it. Hey, go on the right. Go on the right. Look! No, don't! There's a class sci fi rapid Class five. Hard. Oh no. Gary's going to try to shoot the rapid. He's got to avoid that rock. All right, here we go. Oh no, turn, turn. You got it. All right, so so you, so you get the mantles on there, and then you gotta like burn them. Right, you burn the cloth, and all that's left are the little ash baskets, and they're very fragile. So what you're gonna do is, so these take that this I call it white gas. That's what they call it. It's way more combustible than gasoline. So then when you pump it up, uh, you put you're pressurizing this, the, the fuel in here, and when you open up the valve, it's got this little valve here in it allows just enough air and gas fuel mixture to actually atomize it's kind of like a little carburetor
Well, it's been an adventurous day. We survived a snake, leeches, death rapids, and tomorrow we head back. Morning rise at bus camp. Over here, the guru has made tacos for the group. Oh, it's a, this is a specialty, Matt Jackson. We're in group camping. There's lime, cilantro, sour cream, cheese. Mm -hmm. and, the, and my secret recipe. Is it El Pastor? No, this is just a Jimmy Dean sausage. Squeeze it off. So after a, a little cleanup and breakfast, we'll be heading our way back east, back to the big town of Austin. Yep. I'm take me a while to break down, but not too bad. Oh, okay, come on. One of the things you always want to do before you hit the road, come back, check your check your status, check your oil, and then check just do a visual check of everything and then like So that's too loose. Yeah, that's too loose. It shouldn't have that woobity in there. So We'll take a shim out. You gotta be careful sometimes too. As I always say, eight shims. Some of the shims are different. Yeah, some are thicker. Yeah. Shim in a pulley. BW Life. BW Life. Hey, stickers below. Everyone always says in the uh, comments, where can I get a sticker? Or can I buy a sticker? Or a shirt. Yeah, first three, first three um, links in the description of all our videos has links to stickers and our shirts. Gary had tried two shims on the outside. It was a little too loose. I think. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. It it's was just a little too goosey goosey. Yeah, all it took was taking one shim from the center and moving it up. How far do we have to go, man? Uh, about 70, 70 miles. miles. So 70 miles, but everybody's kind of, uh, we start splitting up from here. We so do. We had a Texas uh, stop sign, the old DQ. We did. That was a great uh, return to civilization. Yes. And, uh, we want to thank you guys for watching and uh, make Check sure you subscribe. Yep. End of summer bus bash was a success. We had a couple of mechanicals, but that goes, that always, that's just a part of the game. Make sure uh, you, you tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell everybody you know about VW Life because this is what it's all about, getting out and doing stuff in the VW community. Thank you guys for joining us today. Later.